It was hailed as a success. The inaugural year of the Afghan Premier League completed last October despite the ongoing war in the country. And to take the Afghan game onto another level, they're now being supported by the British Premier League. This week, a mixed group of 20 Afghan football coaches travelled from their capital, Kabul, to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. There they were met by Premier Skills gurus Mark Bright, ex of Crystal Palace, and Johnny Garside, a youth academy coach at Everton Football Club. So the coaches here receive a week-long masterclass, but in a country ravaged by war and with just a fledgling league, can it really improve the quality of football in Afghanistan? Zara Mahmoudi is the captain of the women's national team and coach of the under-16 girls. As a football player, I saw many challenges. I faced many problems, uh, from the, many, many pressure from the society, from the uh, security situation, the lack of facility, many, many things. For me and my friends, football means many things. Making friends, forgetting all the problems of the country. The girls and uh, the young people in Afghanistan, they need improvement, they want peace, they want... Uh, a good life and uh, they have the right to play, especially female. We are here, we are uh, fighting for our rights and we never give up. So can British Premier League skills really translate to good football back in Afghanistan? There's definitely been some differences in cultures uh, and styles and, uh, in play. Here they're very much measured uh, and patient with the build-up, whereas in England it's very much attack, attack, attack and trying to penetrate as quickly as possible. I believe that the Afghan coaches are going to take a lot back uh, on the back of this Premier Skills programme, both in terms of the skills, uh, but also the experience that they've gained. Uh, this will also help the local communities and any issues there, but also uh, the popularity of the Afghan Premier League. The Joint British Council project is in the first of three stages, with only the most promising candidates moving on to the next phase. So all eyes will be on the Afghan Premier League later on this year to see if one of those coaches can win the cup and do their British colleagues proud. Howard Johnson, BBC News, Dubai.